Hi, it's Anita with Explore Pilates. It's Friday. I hope you've had a great week. And in Bloomington, we've certainly had some really pretty snow. So we got some stuff clanging on, stuff going on upstairs. But anyhow, I have brought a circle, a magic circle, which in Pilates we use for um, as a reminder when we squeeze into it to pull into our abdominals. And you can also use that between your legs. If you don't have a circle, um, you can. This is just your simple old salad mixing bowl, stainless steel salad mixing bowl, and so I wanted to do a flow for that. I'm going to start with um, sitting down on my chair a little bit forward. This is particularly useful for musicians and for anybody who set, spends a long time, inordinate number of hours in front of the computer, as in all of us. So. I'm just gonna roll the shoulders up to the ears, lift them up, roll them back and down. Pull the belly in and up, shoulders up, back and down. And I'm watching the clock, I'm gonna to try to finish this definitely under 10 minutes, maybe even five, and roll back. Roll the shoulders back, up, forward and down. Back, up, forward and down. One more time, and I hope we did three going both ways. Now just lift the one shoulder and really feel the whole shoulder blade lifting up and then lower down with control. Lifting up, feel the whole shoulder blade slide up and lower down with control. Last one, lifting up. Remember to keep pulling your stomach in and up, give you that extra support for your posture. And go to the other side, lift and down. Lift and control, lower down. So rather than just lifting up and drop, we are actually controlling the descent as well to really kind of bring our awareness into what that whole area feels like as we're moving. Okay, so grab your bowl, our substitute circle, and we're gonna hold it with, um, with the hands like this. So it becomes kind of, a, at some point, if you look into it, it becomes like a mirror. And check your hair. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start. Actually, if you have the straight back on your chair, this is really handy. We would, again, we would do this exercise. It's wonderful doing it lying down. And so you imagine your chair back instead of up, it would be horizontal. You'd be lying on the floor with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor, arms to 90 degrees from your body. Now, since we are sitting, we're gonna pull the stomach back into the back of the chair and then also have the scapula on the back of the chair so you're not like this, but rather really pressed into the back of your chair. And keeping the spine lined up with the back, there's so many back on back, so in a way it's easier to do this on the mat. You're going to make sure that the shoulders stay away from the ears, neck is long, pull the belly in and reach forward. Let the scapula kind of open and you might feel like, oh, there's nothing going on and it's a minuscule movement of the shoulder blades. They actually open up and then they close. And then when they open like that, that's when the hands go forward and your scapula come off of the chair and then you draw them back together and you feel the back of your shoulder blades. You feel your shoulder blades on the back of the chair. Okay, so just try that a couple more times and just be aware that this is a tiny movement. And if you do it on the floor, maybe you feel it a little bit more. You will also feel it more if you've got your feet pressing into the floor, pulling the stomach back. And so this would be protract and you're retracting your shoulder blades and you're protracting, letting them go forward and then you retract them, draw them back together. Okay, so if you need to just roll the shoulders out and having shoulders, uh, having hands at shoulder height we're gonna keep the elbows up there as if they're resting on a ledge, okay? Actually, go ahead and test that and make sure you have that feeling of shoulders relaxing to keep the elbows up there, that you're not holding it up with tension, but that the shoulder blades settle and as it's like a lever mechanism, that as the shoulder blade goes down, the elbow lifts up. And that's how we're holding it up. So we're going to do, oh, it was wet. <laughs> You straighten your arms. So you're gonna bend like biceps. If you've got your bowl turned around, then you won't bunk your head on the top with it. And exhale and inhale and exhale. 
and inhale, keep pulling the belly in and up, keep pressing gently into the floor. So this is a very, very active position. Make sure that you feel that heaviness in the shoulder blades, and that's the mechanism, like the lever mechanism that keeps the elbows up, okay? Then you're gonna bend the elbows here and lower the elbows, but hang on, this is not relaxing time. Make sure that you feel the shoulder blades on the back, on your back, between your back and the back of the chair, and then you're gonna lift the bowl up. As you lift the bowl up, I'll get you on the way up. As you lift the bowl up, you wanna be careful that you don't arch your back, that you wanna still press the ribs into the chair and lower down. And then, so it's the combination of the ribs pulling in and the shoulder blades sliding down. And you might have to kind of adjust a little bit. I had to get rid of a little bit of tension there. There was a moment of tension creeping in. And so I just let, I allow my elbows to stay bent as I lift the bowl, and that's okay because my shoulders keep coming up. So let the shoulder blades slide down, rib pulling in, and you can give a light squeeze into your bowl and roll down. Hello. <laughs> I can't see who's joining me, Ugh. but I hope you're joining me in this exercise. And inhale and exhale. And one more and stay up. Sorry, bend the elbows. And now we're gonna stay up. Okay, so we stay up here. Keep the shoulder blades down. And we're gonna bend the elbow so that the ball, or bowl goes behind us. Sometimes we do this with a big ball, okay? So imagine that this was a big ball, but if we don't all have that gym equipment at home, a big salad bowl is fine. And magic number should be around eight. I'm not really counting. <laughs> and I've already practiced this earlier, so even if I do two, that's like already two more than eight. Okay, and up and see how that feels yeah now if you need to you can always take a little breaks and roll the shoulders out so we're going to have the circle ball rather reaching in front and again keep the knees pressing together feet pressing into the floor whenever we're on a chair in this kind of a chair seated position we don't want to just sit and let the legs splay open we're actually pressing the inner thighs together and pushing the feet into the floor pushing our back into the back of the chair. So now it's gonna be like we're looking in a mirror and then it's like we're throwing water over one shoulder and then come back in front. Make sure that, always check that the shoulder blades are down, that they're not, they, they, I feel tension here today. I don't know what's going on, but you know, you might end up like this. So that's gonna not do you a lot of good and shoulder blades sink down as you change position. and to take focus away from your shoulders, keep pulling the belly in and up. <laughs> Actually do it with two hands on here. And if you can, if you've got all of that in place, then slightly press the fingers into the bowl, okay? And I'm just gonna do one more. And we ideally, we want that feeling of the elbows up and shoulder blades down. There, that's what I had to do to relax the shoulder blades. So you really wanna feel shoulder blades relax. And they relax, that's what keeps the elbows up. Shoulder blades slide down, and that's what keeps the elbows up here. <laughs> and one more. I think this is my second side. And down. Good. So now, this is especially true for musicians, knowing about scapular mobility, that that scapula, you know, that we're not always playing here. Uh, I, I'm a pianist, so <laughs> that's my point of reference. But it, it, even like writing, writing at the computer, you know, this is really the worst place to be. Eventually, you're going to have a lot of tension, and perhaps you're already suffering headaches or migraines, in a, and it could be actually triggered by tension. So um, we're going to come back to the back of the chair and... I have a release technique. And again, try this lying down as well. Um, you can imagine there's a point, fix your eyes on a point somewhere far, far in front of you, and you're gonna trace that point with your nose, okay? So you will notice, and this is effective even sitting up, like all, a lot of exercises that we do lying down, you can still do them seated in a chair. Okay, so you wanna aim for about 10 in one direction, 
and keep it tiny. The key is to keep that little circle very, very tiny. And two more. Again, keep the legs active and pressing, feet pressing into the floor. And you, you should feel sleepy. You hear my voice starting to go into a little sing song here. I'm about to nod off. And then reverse, okay? So 10 in the other direction. And since I'm running out of time, we're just gonna do three and two and one. And then turn your head to the side. It's a little harder because I'm gonna ask you to keep your shoulders against the back of the chair. Okay, so if you keep your shoulders there, it's gonna be a little harder to do circles. So I'm just gonna ask you to do square. So go down a little bit further, up and across, down. A little bit further, up and across. Try to do this with as relaxed of a neck as possible. And you wanna ideally go for a little bit of a stretch in the front of the neck, okay? And then the loop to do and go to the other side. Hi, Sue Ellen. This is good for everybody, okay? So you got your shoulders on the back of your chair or armchair, pulling stomach in and up, squeeze the knees together, press the feet into the floor. If you can't reach your heels down, then it's the tops of the feet. Hi, Lindsay. Hey, long time no see. So the shoulders are back and you're just gonna turn your head. And like I said, it's harder to do a circle here. And so I'm gonna just go down a little bit further, up, down, and across. So I wanna make sure that this shoulder doesn't come wet. It's actually gonna stay square. So if it's if this is a huge turn, then just look off center. That's, that's plenty too. And up, across, down, further, up, and across. So you're tracing this little square and do a little loop to do in the center. And hopefully that has relaxed your neck a little bit. So going back to the idea of scapular mobility, especially for people who are doing this all day at the computer or perhaps at a piano or the organ. And so um, just want to check that your arm is heavy, so that if when you lift up at the elbow, that there's mobility in the scapula that you're not lifting it actively, but you can actually rest your arm onto the other hand. And that's what's moving, passively moving in your scapular region, and you're gonna let go, and that's gonna fall. <laughs> try not to fake it. So try not to push the arm down, but really let it fall, like it falls asleep, like it has fallen asleep, and you've had to lift that arm. Mm. <laughs> I'm having a hard time letting go there. Let go especially when you're doing it to yourself. If you have someone else who could do it for you, that would be nice too, all right? So you really relax that weight. That's where we hold a lot. And you might have to take a couple of deep breaths. Let it just fall asleep. When you let go, that arm should just fall, you know, like you've fallen asleep. Check. The way to check if a baby's fallen asleep is you lift their hand and if it falls down about three times, <laughs> if you don't wake them up, then they're asleep. And so let that arm fall asleep and fall. You know, so if you, you know if you you have a lot of tension, if somebody does this to you, they pull their hand away and you're still hanging out there in, in midair. You wanna make sure that that is loose. So that was um, shoulder blade and neck release and mobilization. And I hope you're having a great weekend. Or I hope you will have a great weekend. Um, and uh, like, share and practice these, <laughs> okay? Take care, goodbye.